Why do I do this to myself every single season? Welcome back to season two of my South City Triceratops Walk on Dynasty. And today we are in our second game of the season, taking on number seven, Oklahoma in Norman. And it looks like this game is going to be a lot of fun. They have a 94 overall running back as their best player and 92 overall quarterback as a true freshman. I did use the recruiting mod during the last season and apparently it can produce some pretty broken players. So he's going to turn into a fantastic player for Oklahoma. And then at wide receiver, they have a 90 overall, but I can't forget the 91 overall defensive end here. In our first game of the season, we lost to San Diego State and our receivers dropped a total of 12 passes due to the rain. Let's see if we have a better day today. We will get the ball to start today. We come out in shotgun. Cox will take the snap. It's a screen to the outside caught by Overrocker trying to get to the edge and that will result in no gain. That brings up a second and 10. Cox will come back out, take the snap and will throw this one underneath, but he misses Clint Barnes, incomplete. Trying to avoid the three and out to start the game. Cox out of shotgun, will drop back to pass. We'll throw to Lonnie Whitfield who will make the catch and get brought down to the 40 a gain of 14 first and 10 cox will line up under center he drops back to pass and we're going to throw this one over the middle of the field and that's dropped by the fullback dave wade i know we're not going to be able to do regular run plays today so let's try a read option out of shotgun cox will get to keep it himself and cox will get brought down for a five yard play that makes it third and five cox back in shotgun will drop back to pass and trying to find someone downfield, we'll just have to throw it and hope for the best. It falls incomplete. I didn't see anyone come open. Following the punt, Oklahoma will take over inside their own 15-yard line. They come out in shotgun. Nelson is the running back here. Lowry will take the snap and hand off to Nelson to go right up the middle. And he'll have a first down run and more still going on the first play of the game. The Sooners are going to have about an 80-plus yard touchdown run and go up 7-0. Well, our offense does not get much of a break. We start back at the 25-yard line. We're going to try another screen to the outside, caught by Overrocker, who cuts back in and ends up with a two-yard gain. Let's see how well our offense can run the triple option. On second and eight, we'll take the snap. Cox will get to keep it himself, and he'll have to keep it, but he has the first down and more all the way to the 45, a gain of 17 on the play. A two-yard run on the next play brings up a second and eight. Out of pistol, drop, Cox will drop back to pass. Now rolling out to the outside, and we're going to throw this on the run downfield. It's caught by Hughes for the first down, a gain of 11. However, it looks like Eli Cox was shaken up on the play because now Josh Holland is in the game for first and 10. We'll take the snap, and we'll look for a quick pass over the middle, and that's dropped by Daniels. Now a second and 10, still back in pistol. Holland will take the snap, and we'll throw this one to the outside. That's caught by Davis, but that's going to be a loss of two on the play. Josh Holland still in the game here on third and 12. Out of shotgun, he'll take the snap. We'll throw down field and he overthrows the tight end and gets picked off and the Sooners will take back over. They scored on one play from 87 yards out on the last drive. Let's see what they do this time. Lowry out of shotgun, will drop back to pass. A third to the outside, caught by Griffin, who's got the first down and brought down for a 16 yard play. A three yard play will bring up a second and seven now. Lowry comes back in shotgun. Nelson is the running back. They will run a read option. Lowry will keep it himself to the outside and will get brought down to bring up a third and one. Lowry back in shotgun with Nelson in the backfield for third down. He'll send his tight end in motion. He takes a snap, hands off to Nelson up the middle for the easy first down and a lot more. And Nelson is gone again. Touchdown Sooners and they're up 14-0. Thankfully, Eli Cox does not seem to be that injured. He is back in the game from the 25-yard line. We'll send Overrocker in motion. Take the snap and a quick throw to the outside. Caught by Overrocker for a gain of nine. We're going to try to run this ball right up the middle. I know it's probably not going to work, but I need to see how bad my offensive line exactly is right now. So on second and one, hand off to Overrocker, and he's brought down immediately. A third and one now. Cox lines up under center. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw underneath is caught by Hughes, and we will convert for a gain of eight. However, just a couple plays later, we have another third down situation. It's third and ten following a couple incomplete passes. Cox out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this one downfield. That's a diving deflection by the Sooners defense. The Sooners take over at about the 19-yard line. Lowry will take the snap and looks at pass. A quick throw in the middle caught by Newberry, and that'll be a gain of nine to start their drive. Now a second and one. Lowry will line up under center. He has Nelson in the backfield. He'll give it to Nelson right at the middle for the first down. Still going and finally brought down for a gain of 10 on the play. 
First and 10, Lowry back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and looks to pass. A quick throw downfield caught by McGill for the first down, a gain of 11. A couple plays later, we are looking at a third and one for the Sooners. Back in a pistol formation, he'll take the snap and it's a read option. Lowry will keep it himself, has some solid blocking, but has nowhere to go and finally brought down by Starks in the backfield for a loss of three. That would take us into the second quarter, and the Sooners are going to be punting this away here on fourth and four. Instead of trying a long field goal, never mind, it's going to be a fake, and Brown to the outside will not get it. Let's see if the offense can finally put together a drive. On first and ten, it'll be a read option, handoff to Overrocker up the middle, and he will get into Sooner territory with a six-yard run. Second and four, back in shotgun. Cox will take the snap, and we're going to throw this one to the outside, but he misses the receiver. A third and four. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to throw this one downfield. That's caught by Barnes for the first down. First and ten. Cox back in shotgun with two running backs in the backfield. We'll take the snap and a quick third to the outside will be caught by Whitfield and he'll get brought down to the 25 for a gain of 15. A one-yard gain from Overrocker will then bring up a second and nine. Out of pistol. We'll take the snap. We're going to throw downfield. That's caught by Davis, and he will be into the end zone. Touchdown, South City. From 23 yards out, we make it 14-7. to seven. The Sooners would start this drive at the 35-yard line and get a four-yard pass. So it is now second and six. Lowry out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside. We'll set up a third and two. Can we force a three and out here? Back in shotgun again. Nelson is the running back. They give it to Nelson. Never mind, it's a read option, and Lowry will not get the first down. They will punt it away. The Sooners start this drive at the 20-yard line. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to dump this one off. That's caught by Overrocker, and he will juke his way for the first down and more. Brought down for a gain of 19. A two-yard scramble from Eli Cox on the next play would bring up a second and eight. Now he'll drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside is dropped by Daniels. Third and eight. Cox back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. Rolling out to the outside. Can we take off with Cox for the first down? We will dive forward for a gain of 10 as I lose my voice, apparently. An incomplete pass with them bring up a second and 10. Cox out of shotgun. We'll throw a quick one over the middle. Caught by Daniels for the first down. A gain of 14. First and 10. Cox back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to go down the sideline. Caught by Downing for another 14-yard gain. First and 10, Cox back in shotgun one more time from the 22-yard line. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to throw this over the middle, caught by Downing for another first down and holds on to it through a big hit, a gain of 14 yet again. An incomplete pass on first and goal leads to second and goal now. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. A quick throw downfield, caught by Daniels into the end zone, and we have tied this game up at 14. They come out about the 31-yard line to start their next drive. 2.45 to go here in the half, and he finds Newberry over the middle for a gain of nine. He'll line up under center. He sends Newberry in motion. Lowry will drop back to pass under pressure and hit as he's throwing. That will fall incomplete for the first time today. He'll take the snap. It's an option play to the outside. He'll have the first down and more and get brought down near the 50 by Flanagan. A gain of 10. An eight-yard run on the next play would bring up a second and two. They would also burn their first time out here. Lowry will come out under center. He'll send his tight end in motion. He'll now drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside caught by Williams, and he'll break that tackle and get out of bounds for a gain of five and the first down. A minute, 57 seconds to go here in the half. Lowry out of shotgun. will drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside caught by Nelson, and Nelson will get forced out of bounds, and there is a flag, so let's figure out what this is going to be. It's clipping on the offense. So that will set up a first and 20 now for Oklahoma. Lowry will come back in shotgun. He'll look to pass here. And he goes over the middle, caught by Newberry, who's quickly brought down for the seven-yard play. Lowry is all alone in the backfield. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going to look to run here. And he'll take off to the right side, cut up field, and get brought down near the marker here, a third and three. Lowry back in shotgun from the 30-yard line now. Nelson is in at running back. He'll take the snap as a draw play to Nelson, but he'll get brought down pretty quickly for no gain. And this may backfire on me. I called a timeout thinking they would kick a field goal to give us some time, but they're going to go for it on fourth and three. Run the play action, throw to the outside, caught by Williams, but that's a turnover on down thanks to Michael Starks. 55 seconds to go in the half. Out of a five-wide set, we'll take the snap, and a quick throw downfield will be caught by Whitfield to the 45, a gain of 16. 
The clock is still running. Out of a five wide set again. We'll take the snap and a quick throw over the middle will be caught by Barnes for another first down to about the 40, a gain of 14. We're going to keep the five wide set. Cox will take the snap and looks to pass again. We're going to go over the middle. That's caught by Downing, who's now off to the races, and he is gone. Touchdown, South City, and we hold the lead over the number seven team in the country, 21-14. 30 seconds to play here in the half. Lowry back in shotgun. Nelson is the running back, but he will look to pass. He goes over the middle, caught by Newberry, who's brought down for a gain of 10. A five-yard scramble from the quarterback would then bring up a second and five. Out of a five-wide set, Lowry will look to pass. He goes over the middle, caught by McGill, who's brought down with four seconds to go, and they burn their final timeout. All right, we're sending everybody deep here. They have one final play to try to tie this game before halftime. Lowry will take the snap, and he's going to lob it deep downfield. That one will fall incomplete, and South City will take a lead into halftime. However, Oklahoma does get the ball to start the second half, so they get to come out at about the 33 here. Lowry out of shotgun. We'll run an option play to the outside. He's not going to pitch it. He cuts up field, and that's a gain of 11 and the first downs. Lowry lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass. Standing in the pocket, he's going to try to take off here, and that will be a first down for a gain of 11. They come out with a new set of downs in South City territory. Lowry will drop back to pass, and he's dancing around the pocket a little bit. Goes downfield. That's caught by Santos for a diving reception of 16 yards. First and 10, Lowry back in shotgun now from about the 26-yard line. He'll take the snap. A quick throw over the middle will be incomplete. No idea what they were trying there. A second and 10 now. Lowry back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. And he throws downfield. Caught by McGill, who was actually thrown behind him, but he makes the catch anyway for a gain of 20. First and goal from the seven yard line. Lowry back in shotgun. Will once again look to pass. He stands around the pocket. Now throws to the back corner. Caught by Santos. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And they will tie this one up at 21. The offense starts at the 27 yard line. Cox will take the snap and looking for a quick pass, rolling out to the outside, and we're going to get sacked on the play for a loss of four. That brings up a second and 14. Cox back in shotgun. We'll drop back and we'll throw this one to the outside. Caught by Whitfield, but knocked out of his hands. That brings up a third and 14. Cox out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass, and we're still going to throw it on the right side. Caught by Daniels, and he'll hold on through contact. A gain of 15 and the first down. A new set of downs now. SCU will take the snap, and we're going to look to go deep downfield. That one will be caught by Daniels, and he's brought down to the Sooners 30, a gain of 32 on the play. Back in shotgun for the next play. It'll be a read option, and Cox will keep it himself and get blown up in the backfield, a loss of four. So that brings up a second and 14. Now out of shotgun, we'll drop back to pass. Roll out to the outside and just throw this one away. Another third and 14 here. Cox will take the snap. We're going to throw this one to the outside. That'll be incomplete. Whitfield had a chance at it. However, I think we're too close to punt and too far for a field goal. So on fourth and 14, we're going for it. Cox out of shotgun. We'll throw this down the middle of the field. And that's a diving deflection and a turnover on downs. Now we'll see if the SCU defense can get another stop. Lowry out of shotgun. We'll drop back to pass. Goes over the middle. Caught by Santos. And that's a gain of nine. Second and one. He lines up under center. Nelson is the running back. They will send the tight end in motion. Lowry takes a snap, hands off to Nelson to the outside, but he won't get the first down. No gain on the play thanks to Isaiah Sims. Third and one, Lowry comes back in a pistol formation. He'll take the snap, hand off to Nelson to the outside, and that'll be an easy first down for the Sooners, and he'll get brought down for just a two-yard gain. They have Ware in at running back now. He'll send McGill in motion. He takes a snap. It's going to be a read option. He'll pitch it to the outside, caught by McGill for the first down and forced out after a 16-yard play. First and 10 with 3.35 to play here in the third quarter. Lowry out of shotgun. will take the snap. It's a hand up to Nelson to go up the middle, and he has some great blocking, and the first down finally brought down near the 20. First and 10, back in shotgun again. He'll send Griffin in motion now. He lines up in the backfield. It'll be a read option. He's hit in the backfield for a loss of four. That sets up a second and 14 for the Sooners now. Lowry back in shotgun. Nelson is the running back. And they'll take the snap. It's another option play to the outside. And Lowry has some great blocking in a clear lane to the end zone. Touchdown Sooners. They take the lead 28-21. An incomplete pass to start the drive would bring up a second and 10. Now from Pistol. We'll go downfield. That's caught by Daniels for the first down. Breaking tackles and fights his way all the way down to the 50. A gain of 23 on the play. An incomplete pass on first down leads to second and 10 yet again. Cox from under center will drop back to pass. We're going to throw to our tight end on the outside, and Hughes will make the catch for a 14-yard play. A six-yard pass on the next play brings up a second and four for SCU. Back in shotgun will take the snap. A quick throw over the middle is dropped by Whitfield. 
Now a third and four. Cox out of shotgun. We'll take the snap, and we're going to throw this one downfield, and that probably should have been picked off. Fourth down. It's a fourth and four. Cox back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. We'll throw this one downfield, and Whitfield drops it again. First and ten. The Sooners take over with a minute 37 to go here in the third quarter. They'll run a play action. Now Lowry will throw to a wide open man caught by Brown, who will break a tackle and get forced out of bounds near the 48. First and 10 for the Sooners. Lowry will come out under center. He takes a step, hands off to Nelson up the middle, and Nelson will have a huge gain here, and he is going again. Touchdown, Oklahoma, to make it 35-21. All right, offense, we're back down by two touchdowns here. From the 25-yard line, Cox will take the snap, and will throw this one to the outside. That one will be caught by Barnes, who will spin out a defender, and now Clint Barnes off of the races down the sideline inside the 20, and will get caught at the 15, a gain of 59 on the play. That sets us up with a new set of downs with under a minute to go in the third quarter. We'll take the snap. A quick throw to the outside is caught by Davis, and Davis will try to juke out some defenders and get brought down inside the five. It's first and goal. Now from the three-yard line, back in shotgun. It'll be a read option. Cox will keep himself, and Eli Cox is into the end zone. Touchdown, SCU. We make it 35-28. to 28. There are 36 seconds left here in the third quarter. They come out and hand up to Nelson up the middle, and Nelson will try to bounce back to the other side, but get brought down for just a two-yard gain. This will possibly be the last play of the third quarter. It's second and eight. They send their tight end in motion. Now he comes back. Lowry will take the snap. It's a read option to the outside and he will break that tackle from Sims and get the first down. A gain of 11. They would start this quarter with a five yard run. Now second and five. Hand up to Nelson to the outside but he's met by Starks and brought down for a one yard gain. Obviously a stop here would be massive for SCU. It's third and four. Back in shotgun. Lowry will take the snap. It's a screen to the outside and that's knocked out of the air. We have a chance to tie the game but we get to start at about the one yard line. Cox will drop back to pass and we're going to get sacked for a safety. Are you kidding me? No one came open. It was supposed to be a quick screen and they covered it perfectly. That is massively deflating. Now a nine-point game. We need the defense to come up with a stop again. Nelson Williams in motion. Now they'll hand off to Nelson, who's killed us all day, and he gets a six-yard gain. That brings up a second and four. He's back in shotgun now. He'll send McGill in motion. He lines up in the backfield. He takes a snap. It's a read option. Lowry will keep it himself to the outside. He has the first down and more, and he is gone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They will make it 44-28. Okay, I lied. They're going to try to go for two to try to make it 45 to 28. Lowry back in shotgun. I believe Ware is in it running back, and that's where they go with it, and he will not get into the end zone. It stays 28 to 43. We come out down by 15. Cox will take the snap. A quick throw to the middle is caught by Davis for the first down, and we'll start this drive with a gain of 16. Cox comes back under center for the next play. He'll drop back to pass again. We'll throw this one to the outside, caught by Whitfield for a first down, a gain of 12 this time. First and 10, back in pistol again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. A quick throw to the outside will be deflected out of the air. Now a second and 10, back in pistol again. And another quick throw, and that one's going to be dropped by Barnes. Third and 10, now out in a five wide set. We'll take the snap and look to pass again. Not seeing anyone come open. Try to escape the pressure. He'll break away from one sack, but finally go down for a loss of six here. Fourth and 16, back in shotgun formation. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to throw downfield for Barnes, who will make the catch for the first down. That's not even Barnes. That's actually Reggie Davis with a 23-yard gain. Our slim hope stays alive. Cox lines up from under center. He'll drop back to pass. Now rolling out to the outside. And we'll finally stop and throw deep downfield. And that one will be intercepted by Newbie. I don't know really what I was trying. I just tried to force it downfield. Now first and 10. Hand over their fullback up the middle. And he will stumble forward for a gain of seven. Now on second and threes. Back in shotgun. Lowry will look to pass. A quick throw to the middle. Caught by Newberry. And he's going to be gone. I don't think anyone in this defense has a chance to catch him. Inside the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Oklahoma from 92 yards out. I think this is officially turned into a blowout. And apparently Eli Cox was injured on that interception that he threw because Josh Holland is back in the game with 4.18 to go. Out of shotgun, we'll drop back to pass. We'll throw this one to the outside, and it's going to be incomplete. Now a second and 10, and it popped up on the bottom of the screen that Eli Cox has a mild concussion and will miss the rest of today. So let's see if we can do anything on this play. Over the middle, that's going to be incomplete in and out of the hands of Ryan Hill. Now a third and 10. Holland back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to try to throw in the run. That's going to fall incomplete. We will punt the ball away. 
following the punt return they will take over in scu territory he comes back in shotgun with 356 to play it's a read option lowry will keep it himself and end up with a nine yard gain now a second and one he comes back and will take the snap it's a hand up to nelson right at the middle and he'll get brought down for a two yard gain getting the first down Lowry back in shotgun with Nelson in the backfield here. He'll take the snap and actually look to pass up by 22, but he's going to take off for the first down himself for a gain of 14. But now Lowry is injured on the play. So that will bring in their other true freshman quarterback. Yes, they have two. This one is Dwight Watkins. He's an 85 overall. And out of shotgun, he'll run the option to the outside. And for his first play in the game, he will run for a gain of seven. That brings up a second and three, and he will line up under center. He still has Nelson in the backfield, but Watkins will actually drop back to pass and throw to the end zone. Up by 22, they're still throwing the ball and get another touchdown to make it 57-28. to 28. And that would be your final score. We managed to stay competitive through most of this game, but I think the talent gap eventually just took over as they just shot out to that massive lead. I made a few mistakes, obviously, but we still played pretty well on offense. Yes, we lost this game by a lot, but I'm going to take this as a small victory because we hung on against the number seven team in the country for a while. Final stats on the day, quarterback Eli Cox goes 27 for 49, 443 yards and three touchdowns. We did throw one interception though. On the ground, Cox was the leading rusher with 20 yards. Jack Overrocker, three carries for seven yards. I just can't run the ball with this offensive line, especially against teams that are built like this one. Reggie Davis got five catches for 72 yards and a score. Dustin Daniels, five for 92 and a score. And then Steve Downing also caught a touchdown. Let's count how many drops we had today. Four from Lonnie Whitfield, three from Dustin Daniels, two from Clint Barnes, one from Dave Wade, and then one from Ryan Hill. So if I'm counting that correctly, that should be 11 drops today. Scott Flanagan led the team in tackles with a total of 14 today. Tackles for loss goes to Michael Starks, and we got no sacks and no interceptions. The Sooners quarterback James Lowry went 17 for 21, 250 yards and two touchdowns. Their backup came in and threw one pass for a 10-yard touchdown. Running the ball, Marcus Nelson, 16 for 249 and three touchdowns. James Lowry, 15 for 158 and two touchdowns. Receiving, their best one was Joey Newberry, 5 for 127 and a score. Santos got a touchdown and Earl Williams got a touchdown. In our next game, we will get to take on the Texas State Bobcats, who are only a 72 overall team. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I will talk to you next time.